In 1938, General Motors established the GM Diesel Division. The company has undergone many changes in the 75 years since then, eventually becoming Tognum America in 2011. Based in Redmond, Michigan, it produced two-cycle diesel engines in the early years. The first model to establish the company in the market was the Series 71, the granddaddy of the Detroit diesel two-cycle, so to speak. By the end of the war, they employed 4,300 people, including more than 1,400 women. Even in those days, the engines were extensively tested on outdoor and rotating test benches. In 1957, GM Diesel introduced the Series 53 engine, 0.87 liters per cylinder. The heavy-duty Series 149, 2.44 liters per cylinder was introduced in 1965, the perfect size for mining vehicles. The Series 60 was the corporation's first four-stroke engine. In 1965, the division's name was changed to Detroit Diesel. Detroit Diesel sold 3.5 million two-cycle engines. Now they are available again as reliable units. The company continued successfully making two-cycle engines and still does so today. Only four years ago, the yacht Making Memories was repowered with a new Series 92 two-cycle engine. Finally, the time came in 1994 when MTU and Detroit Diesel signed a cooperation contract. The aim was to develop new products with outstanding technical features at competitive prices. Two years later, the two companies jointly unveiled the new Series 4000 engine. It was the first fast-running, high-performance diesel with common rail fuel injection. The partnership between the corporations had proved successful. They became a family. In 2000, MTU's then-parent company Daimler Chrysler took over the Detroit Diesel Corporation and merged the off-highway divisions of the two corporations to form a multinational organization. Today, the two companies are owned by Tognum AG. The Tognum America plant in Aiken, South Carolina makes Series 2000 and Series 4000 engines. Just recently, a new research and development center was opened there. The facility covers a floor area of 1,800 square meters and can test engines with power outputs of up to 4,500 kilowatts. The equipment can simulate numerous applications, load profiles and ambient conditions. The Tognum America headquarters are now in Novi, a town of roughly 50,000 people near to Detroit. There, they're working hard at writing the next page in the history of one of the world's most innovative engine and energy system producers.